want you to sit down here and phone your mama and tell you you're gonna stay here and watch the movies with us. Ron, sit down here. Oh, Ma, they're gonna show those stupid movies again. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Ma. We know it's late, but it's time for another episode of Flawed Family Flicks. <laughs> Watch close, and you may even see some of your family here. Are you serious? Well, where do I come in? Shut up and sit down. Be ready. I will make you understand. Under a spreading chestnut tree, the village smithy stands. Oh, of course, I remember this film. There's Cousin Buster again. But that's not a spreading chestnut tree. Looks more like a palm tree to me. A really tall palm tree. The muscles of his brawny arms are strong as iron bands. That's Cousin Buster. But he doesn't have an overinflated ego. Children coming home from school look in at the open door. At least until the real blacksmith gets there. I remember this. Buster was the blacksmith's assistant. And the boss didn't approve of him eating on the job. Oops, the boss is here. So much for breakfast. You had to be careful working around this stuff. It could burn you. Whoa! Look out there, Buster. Be careful there. That Buster, he was always getting burned. The blacksmith called for the sledgehammer. Buster tried to explain he laid it right there. But it was starting to make the blacksmith very angry. He said, wait here and I'll get it myself. Where's the wheel? It was right up. Oh, oh. Now the local constable was involved. And now the law was here. Uh, where's the badge? Now he's really mad. I don't think that's gonna make him any happier. Oh! Never threaten an officer of the law. Or he'll call his friends, tell them what happened, and they'll all attack you! Grab him, boys! Meanwhile, Buster saw what was going on. And he tried to intervene. Smith took a nap. Take that man away, officer. Put him right in there, boys. And Buster went back to work. Sounds like your watch needs a little bit of work, Buster. It's a little fine adjustment. Put it in and heat it up a while. That'll help. A very beautiful woman. May I help you, ma'am? Her horse needs shoes. Buster already has a pair in mind. A size 33C. No, 
he wants something a little bit more sporty. one of the specialty models from over there. Good old Buster, always the consummate salesman. Show him how it looks, Buster. Another happy customer. Yes, sir, there's nothing like a good cleaning. Now get him all spiffed up, Buster. A beautiful horse. Buster, uh-oh, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Yep, a really bad feeling about this. Oh, Buster. And now, the young lady's back. Uh-oh. I think Buster's in a lot of trouble. Good old Buster, always making a good impression. Time to get cleaned up, Buster. Just in time for another customer. This young lady can't stand to sit down anymore. And Buster has just the thing to fix it. He'll put on a shock absorber. The poor lady can't sit down. She's gonna need a ladder to get up there, Buster. Don't you just love a happy customer? Just needs a little bit of fine adjustment. Dip it in the water. It's good as new. Don't you just hate all the wire they put in these things? Just what every mechanic wants, a spectator. Go away, little boy, you bother me. Oh, now you've done it, Buster. Uh, Buster, I don't think that can work. Can you 
fix this up, buddy? I like my car kept clean, he says. Let's keep it immaculate. I love this car. So what's Buster do? Puts his hands on it. Buster. Oh no. If he can only find a spot to straighten that piece of metal out. This was the one and only time Buster ever worked in an auto shop. And now you can see why. Either Buster's gonna fix it or burn it down. Dale, how much one of those engine block weighs? I guess you do now. Meanwhile, out on the road... horses had come home. Buster decided it was time to get out of here. And at that moment, Buster knew it was time to go home. He was just a little too late. Unfortunately, what he didn't know was the blacksmith had been released on bail. And for some odd reason, the blacksmith was a little angry. Blacksmith wanted to kill him. I didn't even know a human being could pick up an engine block. Let alone throw it. Luckily, Buster was fast on his feet. Buster even had a plan. Just a minute, I'll get you down. Stay right there. Unfortunately, the blacksmith wasn't listening. Whoa, let's get out of here. Where to hide? Time to get out of town! Meanwhile, out at the farm, Mom got a look at the horse! And spooked the horse! It looked like Buster was going to catch his train! Or the train was going to catch Buster. Whoa! Look out, Buster! It's a runaway horse! And Buster saves the day. Buster told her, I just saved you. You were riding by. The lady was very grateful and tried to repay Buster. But of course, his pride wouldn't let him take the money. Then his intelligence went out and he took the money back to the young lady and returned it to her. That made a good impression on her. 
there was young love. And so at that time, they decided to get married. Of course, they'd kind of forgotten about the angry mob that was chasing them. Luckily, they were all wet. And so it was that the young couple escaped to live happily ever after. And many a Honeymoon Express has ended thusly. At least until the train crashes. That Buster. He's a heck of a guy. See you later, Buster.